in this lecture we will deduce the heisenberg equation of motion which will govern the systems in case of heisenberg picture pictures are not the thing you generally think of in quantum mechanics the pictures are different types of ways to solve a quantum mechanical problem likewise in our previous lecture we saw the schrodinger picture was some kind where the operators are time independent and the states which describes a quantum mechanical system is time dependent and one of the most important result arise in from that lecture is when you apply a operator called time evolution operator what will be the value of time evolution operator that was e to the power negative i hamiltonian operator divided by h cross and small t t is time and if you apply this time evolution operator to a state at time t0 so this the state at time 0 this state when operated by this operator u of t will result the state after some time t so the state will become psi of t so that was our important result from our previous lecture and we will use this equation frequently to deduce the heisenberg equation of motion so if you have asked to get expectation value of a time independent operator let's say a cap is a time independent operator and you want to know the expectation value of this operator what is the procedure you have to multiply this a cap with bra psi of t and in middle you have to sandwich this operator means on the right hand side you also have psi of t so this is the way to calculate anything's expectation value and instead of this psi of t if you want to write the state in terms of time independent form you have to use this equation because from this equation we can say psi of t is equals to nothing but u cap t operated on psi 0 ket so here the state is time independent similarly if you want to write the bra psi in the time independent form you have to take the dagger on both hand side of this equation after taking dagger on both hand side in this equation the equation will became bra psi 0 u cap dagger function of t equals to bra psi t you all know if you take dagger of k it will become bra if you take dagger of bra it will become k and in this operator here exist iota so <clears throat> this negative iota will became positive iota if you take dagger of it so this psi of t can be written as psi 0 u dagger of t and what is the value of u dagger t it will became u dagger t will became e to the power negative become positive so i h cap t divided by h cross and here at the middle we have the a cap operator now if you put the value of a vision operator and its dagger in this equation you will get psi of 0 u dagger equals to exponential iota h cap t divided by small h cross times a cap exponential negative iota h cap t divided by small h cross times 
psi of 0 and if you look closely this term this term can be written as a whole a h of t so this whole term can be written as a cap subscript h h is for heisenberg picture and its function of t it's clear from here so finally we get expectation value of a cap is equals to psi 0 times a cap h of t times psi 0 now from the, this equation and this equation we can say in this equation the operator a cap is time independent and the states are time dependent but in this case the operator a cap h is time dependent and the states psi 0 are time independent so we have taken to our course to the heisenberg picture now if you have to deduce the heisenberg equation of motion you have to consider this a cap h is an another operator means as in this case u cap h is a time evolution operator of schrodinger picture also in this case with heisenberg picture we get another operator that is the operator a cap subscript h because of heisenberg picture is equal to e to the power i h cap t divided by h cross a cap a time independent operator times exponential minus i h cap t divided by small h cross so this is another important operator this was in case of schrodinger picture and this is in case of heisenberg picture and to deduce the equation of motion for heisenberg picture we have to take derivative of this new operator a cap h so if you take derivative it will become del del t instead of del del t we can write ddt because it's the only function of time so it will become a cap h t equals to in this side the derivatives will be get separated in these two ways in first case you will get exponential i h cap t divided by h cross if you differentiate e to the power series it will give a constant term i h cap divided by h cross and the others are will remain as it is so e to the power negative i h cross t divided by h cut plus and if you differentiate this operator a cap it will result zero as in, because we have said this operator is time independent and after that we have to differentiate this taking this term as a constant so you will get e to the power i h cross i h cap t divided by h cross times a cap e to the power negative i h cap t h cross times negative iota h cap divided by h cross equation you can take i divided by h cross out of both the term and inside it you can take the h cap at the first and after that you can write e to the power i h cap t divided by h cross times a cap times e to the power negative iota h cap t divided by h cross plus e to the power iota h cap t divided by h cross times a cap times e to the power negative iota h cap 
डिवाइड बाय एच क्रॉस टाइम्स एच कैप यू सी दिस इज द ऑपरेटर कॉल्ड ए कैप एच सिमिलरली हियर इट्स द सेम ऑपरेटर ए कैप एच After that, in this line, we have just multiplied by small i to both numerator and denominator. So, at the next line, we get negative sign because a small i square gives a negative one. So, in this line, we saw a negative sign arrived, and if you take this negative sign inside the bracket, and of course, this whole term, e to the power i h cap t divided by h cross a cap. e to the power negative i h cap t divided by h cross is the heisenberg operator a h cap function of t so we have in the next line written is it's equal to a h cap t similarly this one is also the heisenberg operator so at the next line we have just placed that equal to a h cap t in the both cases and if you take this negative sign inside the bracket you will get this term at first here and this term at the next term so our, our final result is equals to ddt and if you take the small i h cross to the other hand side you will get this equation and this is the heisenberg equation of motion for heisenberg picture